Hi, I'm Jürgen. Today I'm going to talk about the role emulsifiers play in chocolate production. Here we have the two main types of chocolate applications. We have an enrobing application and we have a molding application. These are enrobed products where the chocolate has been applied on top of the product in an enrober. These are molded products where the chocolate has been deposited into a mold, uh, vibrated and the chocolate has solidified in the mold which give this solid casting type of shape. For the enrobed chocolates, the chocolate actually has to fulfill certain requirements. It needs to coat these bar products in an appropriate layer thickness and then secondly they have either to give a very rippled decoration or we want them to have absolutely no decoration with a very smooth surface. Let's have a look at the chocolate layer which is surrounding the filling, the center. Look, we can see a very even approximately two millimeter layer of chocolate surrounding the marzipan filling. For this product that is the desired layer thickness and that's very important. For other type of products we might need a thicker or a thinner layer of chocolate. All that is determined by the texture of the enrobing chocolate. For the molded products it's important that the chocolate texture is capable of finding its way into the cavity filling the cavity and if there is an impression fill it 100% precisely without having any mistakes. Also sharp edges on the mold needs to be filled very precisely without leaving holes or anything behind. We need a perfect shaped glossy surface. During chocolate production of enrobed and molded products we need perfect textures. For the molding application, we need a very low viscous chocolate in order to fill the mold properly. For enrobed products, we need a more medium high viscous chocolate in order to have a perfect enrobing. It all starts with the same basic chocolate. This is it. As we can see, the texture of this uh, basic chocolate is completely hopeless and impossible to produce either molding or enrobing products with. We therefore need to modify, to change the texture by adding 4 gram of AMP emulsifier to 1 kilo of basic chocolate. Okay, let's take a look at the chocolate texture now. Beautiful, isn't it? So, adding emulsifiers to a basic chocolate enables you to produce both molding chocolate and enrobing chocolate. It might look pretty simple, but in real life production situation, the level of control needed is extremely specific. We use a viscometer to measure the viscosity profile in order to ensure it's perfect. When you're in full control of viscosity profile and the other production parameters, you'll save food waste, you'll save rework, and you'll get happy consumers. That's good for the planet, it's good for manufacturers, and it's good for chocolate lovers too. There, it's perfect.